Hello everybody, my name is Levon, and today I'm going to give you an update on the swirl filter that I built. I have a pump all the way at the bottom there, it's a 550 gal, it's the smallest I could find at Lowe's. It's coming up at an angle, and it's going into an inch and a half, I did inch and a half because I'm going to be using it on a bigger system. Uh, and it's been broken off there to a relief valve, it's a shut off valve get one that's nice and smooth so it'll be easy to adjust because that adjusts the flow rate going into your grow bed. Uh, this is my drain off. This has been running for a couple hours now and as you can see, well it's already got quite a lot of debris under there. We got about 80 tilapia in here and um, they're about, about yay big, they're about six, seven inches. And as you can see, it's an inch and a half, 45s, and then comes right up against this wall. And I like its smooth transition so that clockwise uh, it'll spin out, and all the majority of the uh, heavy solids, as you can see, will be settling. And then you can drain it off in the, uh, with this uh, shut off valve in about a week when it's nice and full, or when you notice your nitrate levels are rising. And then it comes straight up to this uh, upward facing Street 90. It's a two inch Street 90. And I adapted it so that it fits into this inch and a half. So I have inch and a half in, inch and a half out. Again, I'm gonna use this on a bigger system. And uh, it's working quite nicely. It's uh, splashing a lot this way. And I would rather have it just go that way. So I just put that 90 in for now. And you will not believe what is going on with my beet. This is a purple beet that I've left in here and it is just going crazy. I'm assuming these are finally going to either be flowering or seeding one or the other. Uh, they are seeds already and they're going to start budding out. Now she's giving me another arm over there and I got another arm over there. So, it's huge. I think it's about, I don't know, maybe about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. From side to side. My uh, red cabbage is doing real well. This guy's very, very fat. It's time to gum out. This one is not doing very well. I just cropped a lot of the leaves that were covering this area. And I had a bunch of ants that were uh, using those leaves as uh, transport to get from the edge of the tote to the uh, to the vegetables. So I like to make life hard for them because they ruined my last crop of watermelon that I had. They put all that white flaky uh, powdery stuff which they're trying to do on this. But I got the size of that guy. <laughs> and I got another cabbage here that's ready. Another one over there. Uh, so it's coming along. That is the cabbage for you. And there's the huge beat for you. And uh, the squirrel filter. Uh, this is just temporary. I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to attach three or four of these totes together. And then I'm going to run a larger uh, swirl filter on the whole system. And I'm just going to run a swirl filter and a bio filter um, in the future. I'll show you guys videos on that. But as for this, I just couldn't help but show you guys how, how, how amazing this thing is growing. Yeah. My name is Lon and thank you very much for watching.